Hey everyone, in this video I'll review the difference between the Start menu and the Start screen and how to use both in Windows 10. Let's get started. So first I wanted to mention that your Windows 10 screen may look a little different than what you see here on my screen. And this is based on either default settings for Windows 10, if you upgraded or if you have bought a new computer with Windows 10 or if you've changed any settings which I'll explain in a moment. So when you press the Windows key on your keyboard, which looks like this, or if you click on the bottom left of your screen here on this icon, which looks the same as the key on your keyboard, this is actually called Start. You're gonna see again, if I either click here, I'll click on it again to toggle back, or I can press the Windows key on my keyboard, which I'm doing now, and also press it again to toggle back. That's just a quick way to toggle to what's called the start screen and actually I'm using what's called the full screen start screen. Not to be confused with the hybrid view of the start screen which looks like this. Now the reason why my screen looks like this is I actually did not change it um, I upgraded it to Windows 10 from an older version of Windows and it defaulted to the full screen view. If you purchased a new computer with Windows 10, it may default to the Windows Hybrid Start Screen, which again is a combination of the menu and the tiles. If your screen is displaying the hybrid view, which is the combo uh, menu and tiles, and you wanted to switch to this full screen, it's actually pretty easy to do that, all you have to do is go into settings into personalization. Now there's a few ways to get there. You could either click on this um, gear icon here or in the Cortana search box, you could type in settings. And let me go ahead and show you what happens if I click settings. Okay, so again, you can get here several ways. So once you get to your Windows settings, screen you're going to click personalization and then you're going to click start on the left and then over here where it says use start full screen notice mine is turned on so if yours is not turned on then you want to just click to turn it on i'm going to actually do the opposite i'm going to turn mine off okay and then i'll just go ahead and close this screen and then let me go ahead and click, I can either click on the Windows key on my keyboard or click down here on the left. And now you're going to notice that it immediately switched to the hybrid view, which again is um, now giving me all my programs on the left. And then my tiles here on the right. And again, let me show you how to switch back. This time I'm going to click on the gear, jump to settings go to personalization, go to start, and then I'll use start full screen. I want to turn that back on. And then I just want to go ahead and close the box and click again on the start menu. This time I'm going to use my keyboard and press the Windows key. Now I'm back to the full screen start screen. A couple more things I wanted to point out is on the full screen start screen, to get to the alphabetic list of all your programs, click on the hamburger menu here on the upper left to expand. And now notice that pin tiles is selected and I wanna click all apps to then uh, see my alphabetical listing. If I click on the hamburger menu again, select pin tiles and then return to my pin tiles. Then down on the left, I can go to my account. I can go to documents, pictures, settings, and if I click here, you're not going to actually turn it off just yet. It's a little scary clicking on it. When you click on there, it gives you the options to turn, uh, switch it to sleep mode, shut down, or restart. So that's a quick look at the difference between the start screen and the start menu and how to access both. I'll end at that note and I want to remind you to click the big red subscribe button if you haven't already so you won't miss any new videos and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!